Alright, so I want to talk about breastfeeding for a minute. Um, I always do recommend that people consider taking a breastfeeding course while they're pregnant um, because there's a lot to it and it is a kind of mysterious topic um, since we don't often see people breastfeeding um, while we're growing up or even as we go around our day-to-day -day lives as adults. Um, so it can really help to get you know, a, a two-hour class about the basics of breastfeeding and what to expect in the first couple of hours and the first couple of weeks. But I do want to show you just a few um, quick positions and uh, talk a little bit about how to get a good latch. So uh, here is my helper, uh, Batman Teddy. I think your baby's going to look a little bit different than this, but uh, <laughs> this is my tool. So there's really no one right position for breastfeeding. Um, different people find that different things are more comfortable them or work for them, um, but I'm going to show you three different ones. So the first thing you want to do pretty much uh, regardless of uh, what position you want to be in is you want to have lots of pillows handy to support yourself, um, either propping yourself up in your hospital bed with lots of pillows, you probably want one under your arm, one across your lap, depending on how you're going to position your baby. Um, so, you got your newborn, and I always recommend unswaddling your baby for breastfeeding, especially in the first week or two, um, but even more critically in the first couple of hours in the first day or two. Um, that gets you really good skin-to-skin -skin contact, great bonding, and helps, helps establish breastfeeding. So, um, one of the most popular breastfeeding positions, and the one that probably pops into your head first, is what we call the cross-cradle position. So you're going to choose whichever breast you want to feed the baby on. I'm going to feed on my left side. And use your opposite hand to grab baby um, um, and use your hand to support them right behind their neck. So I've got um, my thumb and forefinger kind of behind Bad Hand Teddy's ears, um, such as they are here, and you bring your baby across your body and in front of you. No matter what position you want to be in, you want to make sure that your baby is belly to belly to you, not facing up to the ceiling with your breast hanging down, but press belly to belly with you or um, uh, facing you. Also make sure your baby's arms are free, not trapped underneath them, if you can see that. So not trapped against my body. Let that arm out so that they can wrap it around your breast and use their arms for control. I'll get up a little closer, uh, or show you a close view of the latch in a minute. But that's the um, cross cradle position. So then this, you can also use your opposite hand to control your own breast to help direct and the baby and your breast to get a good latch um, if you need that kind of control. Okay. Um, if you have a cesarean um, birth, um, this position might not feel good for you with the weight of the baby kind of resting on your abdomen. So if you have a cesarean, a lot of people switch to what we call the football hold. So again, feeding off the left breast we're going to use this pillow here that we've got pop, propped up to make the baby around this way. And everything's switched around. So here we begin again, belly to belly, or belly to side, but really belly facing towards me, not up to the ceiling. Um, so you're going to take your baby kind of under your arm, and again, use your hand behind their ears um, and give them that little bit of extra neck support and direction. Um, then you can take your other hand and direct your breast if you need to. Especially women with larger breasts, you might need to do some breast compression um, to make your breast into an easier shape for your baby to get their mouth around. So this we call a football hold here. Um, ideally, you know, you've got something propped under this arm so you're comfortable. You've got something propped under this arm so you're comfortable. Um, you might think about, like, are my ears up like this, or can I really relax uh, and settle in here for 20, 
30 minutes, sometimes an hour, um, you know, in the first couple of days, a baby wants to be on the breast off and on almost constantly. So that's the football hold. Um, a third position would be um, if uh, you're having trouble establishing a latch, or sometimes even for the first feed, um, I give the baby some more control. So instead of directing the movements completely with your hand um, and your breast and trying to direct them, I let the baby take charge. So we would do what's called laid back breastfeeding. I'm actually going to switch around the couch so that you can see this a little bit better. The light's not too great, but hopefully you can tell what's going to happen here. So again, plenty of pillows. You could be propped up in your hospital bed, or this could be your couch at home. You want to be propped up. <sighs> Maybe put your feet up. You want to be really relaxed. And this is great if um, your baby isn't frantically hungry, if they're just starting to root a little bit, um, and you want to give them a chance to explore and see that sometimes if you're having a painful latch, also you can let the baby um, direct things. So in this, we're not going to hold the baby behind their head, we're just going to lay them gently across our chest. And so if the baby's a little bit hungry and they're alert and awake and calm, they'll just start rooting around and find their own way. Sometimes you can uh, put them just a little bit over, scoot their booty one way, scoot their body one way, but I'm not going to force them to go anywhere in particular. I'm going to see what they do. Sometimes they'll just open their mouth and move it around and try here, try here, try here, and then eventually they will probably get a good big mouthful and a good big latch. And this can be a really comfortable position to be in, just like lay back and breastfeed. And, uh, enjoy a conversation with somebody, watch a little TV, or just pay really close attention to the little baby. So I'm going to uh, zoom in a little closer on what a good latch actually looks like. Um, don't worry if your breasts aren't exactly this size, shape, and color. Uh, chances are you can still successfully breastfeed. <laughs> not a one-size-fits-all model, in case you were wondering. Um, so <laughs> so um, this is my uh, sock breast model. Um, the nipple are areola is the colored part, um, and then breast. So if my hand was a baby's mouth, when we're looking up close at what we want to see, you want to see a baby um, taking in a good amount of this areola and getting the nipple towards the roof of their mouth. So if you're directing the baby's head and getting that mouth in, you want to aim your breast nipple up towards up towards their nose so that when they open their mouth it goes towards the roof of their mouth. Like this. And then the baby will use their mouth and get a good amount of that areola into their mouth. So you should see a wide mouth open, wide, um, about 120 degrees or more, um, and flange, lips that are flanged outwards around your um, breast. So then the lips are going to be pulled all the way down and all the way up. Um, you shouldn't see, and this is what causes a lot of pain, you should not do, uh, is let the baby just chomp right here. Narrow mouth, even if they're sucking, they're not going to get a lot if they're only pulling on the nipple, and it's going to hurt you a lot. So what you need is you need to have a big open mouth, nipple towards the roof of the mouth, and um, a lot of the areola taken in lips flanged outwards because they need to have compression around 
uh, some of your breast tissue to draw the milk out. So those are a few things to look for um, when you're starting breastfeeding.